हेलो गाइस हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू टुनाइट कैन यू हियर मी वेल गाइस इन द मीन टाइम थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अनदर क्लास वेलकम टू इंग्लिश कॉर्पोरेटिवो एडवांस्ड मॉड्यूल 3 so thank you very much for being here my name is alejandro and today we are going to be working with typical students profiles so now i have uh, gabriela in the meantime gabriela can you hear me yes i can hear you all right perfect thank you very much and i also have adrian Can you hear me, Adrian? Yes, I can hear you, teacher. All right, fantastic, guys. So, um, were you in yesterday's class? Yes. 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 Good. No questions about yesterday's class? No. 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 All righty. So let's go straight for uh, straight to the point. Then, thank you very much, Ricardo, for logging in. Now today. As I mentioned before, we're going to be working with adjectives to see how typic typical you are. Let me go ahead and share this with you. All right, there we go. So, guys, hi, Nidia. Thank you for being here. Read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. In this class section, in this class section, Participants will be able to talk about the typical student in the class. Read with me, please. In this class, section participants will be able to talk about the typical student. All right. In the class. In the class. Mm -hmm. We are here in case that you're, some of you is lost. And practice the grammar lesson as well. And practice the grammar lessons as well. Mm -hmm. Us to learn and practice using adjectives, verbs, and phrases related to accepting things as they are or making changes. As well as to learn and practice using adjectives, verbs, and phrases related to accepting things as they are making changes. All right. Thank you very much, Gabriela. Very much, Gabriela. Now, guys, remember, I need you to repeat. Okay. So if you are muted, I need you to please repeat. Hey, hello, this is Ricardo Calderon. Hi, Ricardo. Good evening. Hey, hey good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. All right, guys. So, if I ask you right now, how typical are you? What can you answer? What would be your answer? Typical. Okay. Typical. Why? What makes you typical? <laughs> I am a... Uh... Um, middle-aged woman. All right. Hello. Living in Salvador. I don't do anything. Buenas noches. Hola, buenas. Out of the average. Okay. All right. Very good. Now, anybody else that would like to share before we go into the topic, so you know the difference between the before and the after. Anybody else? Can anybody else tell me how typical are you? Or are you typical? Anybody guys? Remember you're here to participate. That's the idea. So I get to know your voice. Hello, good night. My name is Julia. Hi, Julia. Uh, I'm not a typical person, I think. Okay. Because I don't like seafood. <laughs> okay. I all kinds of seafood. <laughs> okay, good point. Do you guys like seafood? I do. What about you guys? Yes, I do too. Okay, thank you, Adrian. So, yes, if you ask me, most people love seafood. So, I think that you are right, Julia. You might not be a typical person in that aspect. Yes. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to share the video 
in order for you to notice adjectives, adjective phrases, all right? Please go ahead and mute your microphones so we can all listen to this short video. Hi, how typical are you? To find out, complete this profile. Then, share your answers with your class. Are you typical? I have never shopped online. I eat breakfast every morning. I have a full or part-time job. I have visited a foreign country. I use public transportation. I keep a little diary. Now look at these adjectives, verbs, and phrases. Put them in the right column below, then share your... All right, so before we continue, let's go ahead and take a look at this quick assessment, okay? So how typical are you? Um, have you ever shopped online? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes? Is, yes. That, is that something common you do? Mm, yes. No. no. Okay. Once a year, I think. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening, classmates. Hi. Hi, good evening. All right. Um, well, in my case, yes, I have shopped online, so we can share details about ourselves. Number two, do me a favor and read it, Nidia. I eat breakfast every morning. All right, very good. Do you guys eat breakfast every morning? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Every morning. Okay, well, I don't. I actually don't have time to eat. I know, I know, I know. I'm fat <laughs> and I don't eat breakfast. All right. <laughs> um, that's why you need breakfast. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm, I'm going to try. I normally wake up at 4.30 in the morning because I have classes at 6. So, <laughs> All right. Number three, I have a full or a part-time job. Do you guys have a full-time job or a part-time job? Full-time. Full-time. Full -time. Mm, most of us. Fantastic. Number four, help me with number four, someone. I have visited a foreign country. All right. I have, yes. I have visited foreign countries only in Central America. What about you guys? Yes, me too. I have visited a foreign country. You have? America too. Okay. All right. Um, it was a little bit difficult to, to hear you. I don't know if the microphone is too close to your mouth, but it sounded kind of kind of weird, but I understood that you were able to, to visit foreign countries. Okay. All right, fantastic. Um, next one, before we go off topic, I use public transportation. Do you use public transportation? No, I don't. I use my car. You use your car. All right, fantastic. Well, in my case, I use either my motorcycle or my car, but sometimes I do. On Saturday, I used public transportation, and it's very effective. Dangerous, but effective. <laughs> All right. It's more dangerous your motorcycle. Uh, you're, you got a point. I try to be super respectful <laughs> and careful. <laughs> All right. And the next one, help me out and read number six. Anybody? I keep a daily personal diary. Uh-huh. Diary. So pretty much just you write, like... A Mexican, uh, Colombian soap opera, Betty La Fea, she kept a diary. <laughs> yeah. Diary. A diary, exactly. Do you guys a keep a diary? No. No, diary. I don't. I, no, I think, how, how do you say pasado de moda? It's um, old fashioned. Old fashioned, very good. So that will be old fashioned. So, guys, this is what we're going to do before we get to the topics. I wanted to have a small chat. The reason why I was giving you or giving my opinion is because I wanted you to check the way I do it. Always making a comment, always giving more information. So that's what I want you to do. I'm gonna open the groups so we can practice our fluency and you're gonna go one by one. Pretty much I'm gonna to try to keep the room open no more than nine minutes, eight actually, and we come back. Any questions? No. No? No. All right. group. Every time that you say, oh, yes, I have never shopped online, explain why, but super quick. 
I have never shopped online because I don't have a credit card. Or yes, I love shopping online because you get cheaper things than buying local. But always try to give more information. Do me a favor, take a screenshot of this. Someone take a screenshot of this and send it to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Give me a second. Let me know when it's done. Okay, it's done. All right, fantastic. So I'm gonna stop sharing. I'll go ahead and open the groups and make sure everybody talks. Let's take advantage of this. I'll be visiting you. Give me a second. There we go. All right. Please accept the invite. And I'll be checking you one by one. All right, Nidia, did you get the invite? Yes, you did, apparently. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna move. All righty, guys, so Ricardo, I'm going to assign a group to you. There you go, you have the invite. And also Martin, please go ahead and accept the invite. Thank you very much, guys. I I shop online only in this time. <laughs> mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And other time I I don't like because it's so difficult like this. Mm, mm -hmm. To bring to the country. Yeah. The package yeah. is um, Ooh, time. expensive. Yes. Yeah. Is yeah, double, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, all right. Good what job about you, Evelyn? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> much I, okay. I shop online um, maybe twice per month. <laughs> I am addicted. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> twice a month, Evelyn. Twice a month, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love uh, uh, shop in stores like AliExpress. <laughs> yeah. in, um, they have they um, have good uh, things. Yeah, and also here in Simand.com. <laughs> Very useful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, a, re a recommendation that I'll give you is that when you use love you're gonna use ing. For example, I love shopping. Okay. I yeah. love shopping. Oh, okay. Correct. Every time. Love is a verb that is followed by ing. I love yeah. shopping. I, yeah. I love dancing, I love eating, etc. Okay. All right, okay. perfect. Continue guys, I'm gonna check another room. Okay. okay. Thank you. And the second one. Hello, Martin. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Sorry, but I have a connection problems. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I see you. I see you out. Did you get the um, the invite for you to join the group? Yeah, I am. I have the invite. Um, okay. For for the breakout room. Yes, for the break room. Breakout room. Okay. 
So if you click it, you will be talking to uh, your classmates. There we go. He has joined a group. Let's check another one there. To, to make an offer at the, at, you have to, to be aware of the final time to auction, right? Yes, yes. When the end of the action is, is near, uh, everyone bids, everyone bids. Uh-huh, I know. Wow, this is difficult. <laughs> Interesting about bidding, that's good. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, uh, we, we were talking about um, shopping in eBay side. Oh, okay, that's good. You actually have to wait for the last minute so you can get the best the best deal for you, but it's interesting, it's pretty interesting. All right, try to go to the next uh, to the next topic, guys, and always share your opinion and give a little a little comment about it. What number are you working with right uh, now? Actually, and at the number one, <laughs> at the first one. <laughs> All right. Well, number two, I eat breakfast every morning. Uh, in contrast to the, our teacher, I every day eat breakfast. Okay, good. Good use of the opposite. Good job of good use of the expressions. <laughs> yes, in my case, is uh, the most important uh, meat of the day. The most important meal. Meat is meal. carne. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Don't be sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You're practicing. Okay. All right, the rest of you guys try to interact as well, make comments so you all can practice. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to let's go to number two. Mm -hmm. Or oh, number three, for example. Try try to give your yes. opinions. What is the number three? Because I don't have it. Sorry. Do you have, have a full or part time job? There you go. I have a full time. Yep. All right, very good. And here, this is a good opportunity to make, to ask follow-up questions. For example, where do you work? Um, I work at Inglés Corporativo. How many hours a day do you work? I work between 10 and 12 hours a day. And then the next person, what about you? And try to share more information, but super quick. Okay. Okay, well, I work in a hardware store. There. I don't know if... This is the correct uh, word to say, ferreteria? It is, hardware store. Okay. Yes, um, I work for eight hours per day. Okay. Uh, well, maybe that's it. <laughs> okay, very oh, good. Oh, well, um, my job is very, <clears throat> is nearest to my house. It's, okay, very good. It's near my house, all right. That's good. So how do you say distancia yeah. a pie? Oh, I just have to uh, walk two blocks. Okay, so in that case, Freddie, your job is walking distance. Walking distance. Mm -hmm. It's walk, walking distance from Thanks. your house. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, Lourdes yeah. and Marcelo, try to get in the conversation as well. I'm gonna check another group, okay? Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you, Tish. Thank you, you're doing good. All right, let's go ahead and check another group, see how these kids are going. And the last group, let's check. Uh, for Which bank? 13 years old. Excuse me? Okay, I work uh, at Central Reserve Bank, but I work in the single window, trade single window. We have some relation with um, USDA, USAID, and MCC because of the, the facilitation of trade in Central America. Mm, yeah. job, it's a full time sure. work. It's a full-time full job. Full-time, full-time, mm -hmm. yes. Full-time job. 
Yes, yes. Work is pretty much the verb and the action. I am working, but you cannot say I am oh, jobbing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So job will be oh. the noun. Oh, that's now. Now I see, teacher, the difference. That's the difference. I have full full time job. I have a full time yes. job, correct? Or I work full time, which is different, right? I work as the subject. Hey, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, I want to 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 say I an experience. All right. I have a, a different job position. Mm -hmm. uh, before I. I am a senior security guard in in, in embassy. I was but actually. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. my I was sorry sorry. But actually, uh, I get a new position, and and the English requirement is highest than the other position. Higher, higher uh, than. Higher, higher. Yeah, yeah. I really need to improve my English, teacher. My God. All right, fantastic, sure. Okay. So. <laughs> You are in a good place, so just make sure that you practice every single day, okay? And you join okay. the groups. Okay, excellent. Classmates, do you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to go back to the main session, okay? So see you there. Bye. See you. Hey, Eduardo, good to see you again. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right, guys. So pretty much we are back. And how was the experience? How was the experience talking to your classmates? Well, very nice. Good. Nice. Very talkative. Fantastic. So now what we're going to do is the following. My objective in this class is for you to talk as much as you can. All right. So you practice, 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 and practice. Let me go ahead and share something real quick. Who is listening music? All right, don't worry, I took care of that already. Let's go ahead and take care of this. I have a full or part-time job. I have visited a foreign country. I use public transportation. I keep a daily personal diary. Now look at these adjectives, verbs, and phrases. Put them in the right column below. Then share your answers in class. Should I just go with the flow? Adjectives. Amenable. Conservative. Nonconformist. Rebellious. Unconventional. Verbs. Accept. Conform. Conform to. Confront. Rebel, rebel against, stand up, stand up to, stand up for. Racist, be your own person, challenge the status quo, fit in, follow the crowd, make waves. All right. Now very good. on your notebook, make a chart similar to this one and write the adjectives, verbs and phrases under the right column. Phrases. Be your own. All right, guys. So we're, we're going to be using this. Sorry that I'm having issues with the video. Give me a second. Because I wanted to see. Give me a second, please. Two. All right. Give me a second, because every time I pause it, I need you to to have access to what I can see. There it is. Confront, rebel. All right, do me rebel a favor. against. Take a take a Stand screenshot, up. please. Someone take a screenshot of this and share it to the group. All right, as a matter of fact, I can try to do it. Sorry for the problem I'm having with the computer, guys. For some reason, is um, it's giving me a lot of problems. Give me a second. All right. So what we're gonna do right now is that you're gonna have access to the presentation that I'm sure you have on your computers as well. But I'm gonna try to send the uh, the screenshot to you via WhatsApp. 
I wanted to take a look at the adjectives, also the verbs and uh, the phrases. So we can use them in our conversation. Someone was actually asking me yesterday on why do we cover some type of topics or some sort of topics? And it's because guys, in advanced levels, it's not much about learning grammar. It is a lot about learning new vocabulary, new ways to express yourself, and also um, for you to practice your speaking. That's why this is very important, okay? Okay. All right. Now, finally, I think I I'm gonna be able to send it. There you go. I have actually sent it. Well, someone did before me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Someone actually sent it. So let's go ahead and take a, a look at these guys. And I want you to please repeat after me. Okay. All right, just one second. I'm having my WhatsApp open right here. All right, so say with me, please. Amenable. 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 Conservative. Conservative. Non-conformist. Non-conformist. Non Rebellious. Rebellious. Unconventional. Unconventional. All right, so these are the Unconventional. Unconventional. Mm -hmm. Now, these are the adjectives that, that we are going to be using in order for you to describe yourself. Okay. Now, is there any new vocabulary among these adjectives? Yes. Amenable. What does it mean? Uh, All right. Yeah. Amenable means <clears throat> that you are susceptible to something. That means that you are very responsive to suggestions. Okay, that you are easy to be controlled. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand the meaning mm -hmm. of this. Yes, I got it. Thank you. Moldeable, manipulable, algo así. Uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. Something exactly. like that. Which, okay. for example, we can use another another way of saying it, which is open to feedback. When mm -hmm. you are when you have a job that is very important, okay. when your superiors give you an advice. You have to accept it and put it in practice, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So amenable is that they can control you, but let's go ahead and use open to feedback. That means that you listen and you put in practice what people tell you. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, excellent. I got it. All right, fantastic. Now, as far as this vocabulary, do you have any other question? As far as the first mm -hmm. column for adjectives? Conservative. Conservative. Can anybody help me with that one? It's like a. Uh, it's like um, uh, old fashioned, old fashioned ways. Yeah, could be. Yeah, it could go with old fashioned. Yeah, conservative is that you keep your beliefs very strong, and that you don't go after that. Very good. So. Let's go ahead and work with the verbs, please. Say them with me. Next one is accept. 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 Conform. 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 Mm -hmm. Confront. 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 Rebel. 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 And stand up to or stand up for. Instead of four, stand up two of stone, stand up four, or stand up four. Very good. Do you have any question? Um, stand, stand up two or four. Mm -hmm. What means? All right. When you hear, for example, stand up for your rights, it means for you to defend your rights, defend your position. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like for you to not actually confront, but in order for you to uh, to resist. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that would be the one for stand up. Is it making sense? Yes. Stand up two, stand up four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stand up two, stand up four. For you to defend your position, your point mm -hmm. of view. 
your okay. beliefs, whatever you have to defend. Okay. Also, uh, make um, make uh, feel your voice, make not make notice. Uh -huh. Make your voice be heard. Hacer que tu voz escuche. Exactly. Okay. That's another one. Now, let's go ahead and work with the other one. Be your own person. Be your own person. Be your own person. Be your own person. Who can explain this be one, guys? Own. To be authentic. Yeah. That's right. To be authentic. To be authentic. So be yourself. All right. Next one. Challenge the status quo. Challenge the status quo. Challenge the status quo. What do you understand about this one? Um, change the way of your your think. Mm. Or um, change the order of the the how do you how do you say establecido established established mm -hmm. change the order of the established there you go change the order of established for example when you have a business you have to challenge the status quo if you want to be better than your your competitors so it's for yeah. you to go against what is normal what is established good job good job is it clear, guys? Challenge the status quo? Yes. Yes. Right? Fantastic. And the next one, fit in. 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 What do you think comes with fit in? It's Maybe like, like uh, get into something, into a. Uh, hmm? Like. Uh, it's to fit in, to get into, for example, if to, uh, I don't know, like, uh, encajar. <laughs> there you go. There yes. you go. Mm -hmm. To be in harmony with something. Mm -hmm. For example, if I go to a nightclub, believe me, I don't fit in because I don't like going <laughs> to nightclubs. Uh -huh. I, I really don't fit in. Is it clear, guys, what fit in is? Yes. All right. The next one. Say with me, please. Follow the crowd. Follow the crowd. Follow the crowd. Follow, crowd. The, crowd. follow, follow the crowd. Mm -hmm. Follow the crowd. What is the meaning of crowd? A group of people. A lot of people. people. A lot of people. So what, what do you think uh, follow the crowd is? Follow the people. To do the, the things that all the people do. That everybody does. Exactly. So if, the crowd. if everybody, for example, is going to a bar and you go to that bar, you're following the crowd. Uh -huh. If someone is buying on a specific brand and you do it just because people does it, not because you like it, you're following the crowd. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. yes, clear. yes. All right. And the last one, to make waves. Make waves. Make waves. Make waves. So a wave when you go to the to the beach and you get into the sea, sometimes waves hit you very hard, right? So what do you think make waves means? Make waves. Make waves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, teacher. All right. It's worry. complicated too. <laughs> no, that's fine. Someone asked me at 8.35, write the sentence, please. What sentence? Here in the chat, someone asked me, write the sentence, please. Just let me know sentence about what, and I'll be glad to write it. So, to make waves pretty much is to create a good impression or to cause trouble. Can you repeat that? Sure, of course. So to make waves is for you to create a good impression. In business, for example, if you want to be better or if you want people to see you, you need to create waves. So you, need to, you need to make a good impression. In a job interview, hello, a strong uh, handshake. Uh, strong waves. Uh -huh, or, wow. or a nice comment. You're leaving a good impression, so you're making way. Okay, a uh, voice clear, uh, convincing, convincing, voice clear, fluent, 
Influence. Past. So yeah, anything you gotta do to leave a good impression, or it can also be trouble. Are you a person who create waves at work? Yes, I do. You do? I in do. the good or in the bad way? <laughs> in the good way. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's something that we have to talk. Alrighty, guys. So this is it. Okay. You might say, hey, but this is this is not too much. It is because I wanted to try to use every single piece of vocabulary. Okay, so before we go to the break rooms again, do you have any question with this vocabulary? No, I don't. Everything clear? Like acid water water? <laughs> like a glass of horchata. Okay, clear like horchata. So you can say things like, guys, I want to tell you something. I am my own person because I do what I think is right. I always follow my heart. Another example. Well, I like to challenge the status quo, you know. I don't like to follow the crowd because I don't fit in. So I prefer to make waves. As you can see, you can use all of these expressions to create just one idea. Is it clear? Yes, clear. All right, good. So I wanted to challenge yourselves, guys. I'm going to open the break rooms, and I wanted to talk for at least 30 seconds each. Okay? So... Don't talk too much so everyone can participate. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, the other person, and we do it again. So try to use the vocabulary using Thumb adjectives up. and verbs. Got it? Okay, got it. Okay. All right, very good. So let me go ahead and open the break rooms, and I'm going to be visiting you one by one, group by group. Please go ahead and accept the invite. It's already sent. There we go. All right, so I'm just waiting for Maribel, Federico, and Ricardo to accept the invite so you can join the groups and start practicing. All right, very good. Maribel, can you hear me? Marie? All right, if you have any type of issue, just go ahead and chat and let me know so I can try to help you. In the meantime, I'm gonna be visiting another break room. Good evening. Well? Hello guys, I'm here. Hello. Hi teacher, how are you? Doing good, doing good. Hey guys, let me ask you something. Okay. Do you like to challenge the status quo? In my own business, like, uh, like my, my, my challenging with the prizes and, and the way that I do my job with my competitor? Yes. Fantastic. In the case of, well, my my family, the structure, no, not at all. All right, very good, very good. What about you guys? Try to, try to give your opinion in 30 seconds so we can all talk, talk so we can all participate. Mm -hmm. Evelyn, Julia, you there? Yes. Yep. All right, very yeah. good. So um, do me a favor, Eduardo, ask Julia if she, uh, if she challenges the status quo. Julia, Hi. did you like uh, challenging status quo? Status quo? Mm -hmm. Status quo. Uh, yes, I think. Uh, I would like to, to train my study school. Uh, I want to, to be a better person. Okay. And I want to grow up in some part of my life, I think. 
Alright, that last part, Julia, I was not able to hear you properly. Baje el volumen, por favor. I don't know. I don't know if you're too far off the microphone. Don't worry, it's not so good. Uh -huh. All right. I don't have a, a microphone. Oh, okay. Just with the with the computer audio. Ah, yes. now I understand. All right. So guys, um, check the um, check the screenshots to the group. So we can use the the questions, the right? One after the other. Hey, uh, do you fit in, for example, in um, do you fit in in a park, for example? Do you like going to parks? And do you feel comfortable there? So try to ask yourself questions like this: Are you a conservative person, or do you accept changes? Try to use your imagination and create questions. But provide quick and straightforward answers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Uh, Evelyn, did you fit in in your in your work? Okay. Mm, yes. Did you yes. or do you? Do you? Do you? Uh -huh. That's right. Do you? Yeah. Do you fit in? Yes, I love my work and I feel um, comfortable there. Okay, fantastic. Good answer. Now, add a little bit more of information. I feel comfortable. Why? Because I love what I do. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, to give an example, I feel comfortable because... Um, People accept me for who I am, mm. or I am unconventional. I'm trying to use the vocabulary. I am unconventional, but even though they accept me, you know, try to try to explain why. Okay, I feel um, comfortable in my work, and because I. I feel that my boss accept me Accepts and me. Mm -hmm. accepts me because Good he's her person. <laughs> I'm right. sorry. Don't be sorry. <laughs> all right. So that's exactly what I need you to do, guys. So you all participate. Now you can add something to Julia, Julia to Eduardo, and you go back and forth. All right. Try to use all of the vocabulary. I'll be. I'll try to be right back with you. I'll check another room. Okay. 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 All right, go for it, guys. Take advantage of the time and practice. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hello, Maribel. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> Hi, Maribel. So, we are I working can't, in groups. A group. uh -huh. I can't. Did Why? You, did you get the invite? No. Because hmm. you were able to to join the first group, didn't you? No. Uh, I can't see the, the invitation. Hmm. All right. Let me let me try to add you to one group again. Okay? I, I don't know what happened. Uh, I have a, a, an Apple Macintosh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. and yeah, there, there, shouldn't be, there shouldn't be any problem because I, uh, I have been in classes, I have a Mac too, and, and I have never had any issues with the invite. Oh, okay, so, I don't know why. I'm, I've, I've been studying in English uh, with you, with Regal, with, and for about seven months. Okay, mm -hmm. let me go ahead and, and, and report it. I don't think that it should be, that there should be an issue. Could you please be so kind and uh, I'm gonna text it right now. Give me a I'm second. Reading, I'm reading the, the, the WhatsApp. Yeah, maybe, I, uh, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I saw the, the, the class yesterday, maybe. Okay. Give me a second, please. I'm going to send this information to the coordinator so we can see what's going on. 
It's the second time this happened, right? What? It, this is the second time it happened, right? I don't understand you. <laughs> oh my God, I don't understand you. Don't I worry. Think I I need, I need a, ay, como se dice, lo volado, los audífonos. It might be, there might be that you need uh, earphones or earplugs. Uh -huh. um, Maribel, do me a favor, what is your full name so I can report it? My full name is Sandra Maribel Sanchez Sanchez. Sandra Maribel Sanchez Sanchez. Okay, one more, one more. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I reported it already through the WhatsApp group directly to the person that takes care of this. But I have a question. What time are you logging in, Maribel? What partner? What time what are time? you logging in? ¿A qué hora se está conectando? Uh, what time? Uh, at 8.30. 8.30. All right. Uh -huh. that, that might be one of the reasons why. Is there any way that you can try to log in at 8 or at 8.05? I, I'll try. Mm -hmm. Because I think that by the time that the groups are being created, you are not logged in and that might be the reason why the system is not taking you into consideration. But anyways, I just reported it, ya lo reporté, porque hay gente que, aunque se conecte más tarde, igual me sale el nombre y yo los puedo agregar. En su caso no es así. So, ya ah, no yeah. Aha, I already sent your information so we can actually take a close look at it and fix this because it's the second time this happens. Uh -huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me try to do it again and uh, just give me a teacher, few minutes. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what's the, I, I, I didn't understand. Uh, how, how do you translate challenge? No, feel it, feeling, I don't know, I can see that. Fit oh, in. fit in. Fit in, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Fit in is encajar. What does it mean? What? Encajar. Encajar, mm -hmm. fit so, in, encajar. For example, the, the one that the example I was giving, I don't fit in in a nightclub. Yo no encajo en un, en un nightclub. It's not my environment. I don't feel good. I just don't go to those places. Me too. Mm -hmm. Me too. So <laughs> if you go to one of those, you're not going to fit in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let me, let me try to get them back. Okay. And I'll be just right back with you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks to you. You don't, you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a, a strange letter. Hi guys, how's it going? Hi teacher. Fine, Hi. fine. Fine, fine, all right. Practicing the vocabulary? Yes, we, we were talking about <laughs> the, the kind of music we, we like. Okay. And, and, and I asked mm. uh, to Marcelo if he, if he went if he goes to, to every any place and and the place are playing the reggaeton music, if he accepts it or he asks for the someone change the music. Mm, okay, all right, interesting topic. <laughs> <laughs> topic. All right. Um, in this case, keep on, keep on with the conversation. Try to use the vocabulary, and as long as you keep on practicing, I'm good. Something that I would uh, re advise you is, I asked Marcelo. You don't say ask to. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's you. just I asked Marcelo. So how do you say, yo le pregunté a Marcelo? I asked Marcelo. Good ending I sound. Asked. Very good. Very good. All right, guys. I'm going to, in a few minutes, I'm going to close the break room so we can go back to the main session. But in the meantime, keep on practicing. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hi guys, how's it going? Hey, hello teacher. How's the practice going? Nice. Yes, nice. All right. Nice. Okay, guys, have you ever visited a foreign country? Yes, I. Yes. Yes, yes, I did. 
Yes, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. In my case, just Guatemala and Honduras. Hmm. For work or yeah. pleasure? No, for work. For oh. work. Okay. And you, Lourdes? Well, I visit also many countries. I Maybe have been in I have visited. He visitado. Ah. I have visited many countries. I have visited. I, visited. Mm -hmm. I have visited many countries. Maybe maybe the the far the far farthest one. Farthest. Farthest one mm -hmm. Is La India. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. I, Very far. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I mean, in India I was learning English. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. But imagine the accent. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is the first language? Very difficult. Yes. Yeah, yeah. English, in India. In, in Indian English is awful. Yeah. They have a. They oh. have, it's crazy. It's a crazy accent. They have exactly. They have a very strong it's a, accent. A, a, a exotic accent. Exotic. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm. Let's go ahead and go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Thank you. All righty. So thank you very much for waiting. Right now, I'm bringing all of the all of your classmates back. Okay. Okay. All right. So we can wrap it up. All right. So we have Federico already. Okay. So people's coming back. All righty, guys. Thank you very much for logging in. Thank you very much for practicing. Thank you. Were you able to practice with your peers? Yes. Yeah. yeah. A lot. All right. <laughs> Were you able to use new vocabulary, the one we learned today? Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. All right. Yes. Fantastic. So, um, let's just allow people from break room number three is still excited talking about their lives. <laughs> but they will be here in two seconds. All right, so thank you all. Thank you all for being here. Um, listen up. Practice makes perfect. So every time we open the break rooms, try to, uh, try to have a conversation. Now, for tomorrow, I wanted to please complete exercise 1.5, which is the listening exercise, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, okay. with this listening exercise, what we're going to do is that I'm going to ask you if you have any questions right at the beginning when we start the class. And after that, we're going to go with the next topic, which will be idioms with keep and stay. We're going to okay. be reviewing. I okay. wanted to check it first. We'll, we will review different scenarios and then break rooms, conversation. I'm going to log in and start correcting. Teacher, teacher. I right. try. I I was trying to to make the exercise the, the listening exercise to do the listening I, exercise. Uh, but I can't. I can't listen the the audio. You couldn't listen to the audio. Yeah. Um. Did it give you any issues downloading it? Perhaps. I don't know, but. Uh, um, I try in two, two times, and okay. I can't. I couldn't. El pasado de, de can is good. I could. I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't. Let's do something. Give it some time, because if different people is trying to download the audio at the same time, it doesn't allow you to. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I couldn't. If someone, I couldn't, correct. If someone already has that audio, go ahead and send it to the group. So the people who didn't have access can access to it. And if not, wait until tomorrow so you can try to download it again. Because that, that okay to happen. Okay. All right, guys. So it was a pleasure being with you today. Tomorrow, try to log in early, as early as you can, because we have a lot of topics to cover. And I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much for being here in another class of English Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Ramona. And I'll see you tomorrow, okay? 
Hey, see you. See you. Thanks. Good night, guys. Have a good one. See you tomorrow.